There's breaking news just coming in. Rao, after former Supreme Court judge appointed as the Andhra governor, Justice Abdul Nazir was a part of the Ayodhya bench. Congress has slammed the move, claims Modi payback. Congress says it's Modi government's payback for the temple. BJP slams Mandir quid pro quo claims. So is this a quid pro quo or not? Uh, that is the big question right here. The Congress, of course, going on to say this is a quid pro quo as Justice Abdul Nazir was a part of Ayodhya bench. And now he has been appointed as the Andhra governor. So the Congress has slammed this particular move, claims Modi payback and it's Modi government's payback for the temple. And the BJP, of course, refused these charges by saying there is no quid pro quo. Rahul Gautam is with us. Let's listen to what Rashid Alvi has to say on this. One report ke mutabik, 50 retired judges Supreme Court ke government kahin na kahin unko bhej deti hai, jisse logon ka yakin judiciary pe kam hota chala jata hai. Justice Gagoi ko abhi to Rajya Sabha di thi. अब जस्टिस नजीर साहब को आपने गवर्नर बना दिया राम जन्मभूमि बाबरी मस्जिद का सुप्रीम कोर्ट के फैसले पर बहुत लोग सवालिया निशान लगाते चले आ रहे कि गवर्नमेंट के दबाव में हुआ है जस्टिस गगोई के बनने के बाद जस्टिस नजीर को गवर्नर बनाना उन लोगों के शक और शुबे को और मजबूत करता We'll wait for some political reactions to come in on this because clearly the Congress says that this is a quid pro quo. The BJP is saying there is no quid pro quo uh, and uh, the Congress calling it Ram Mandir play payback. We have to see what the other political parties also have to say about this. But uh, this is a big story. Big questions arising on whether this was a quid pro quo or not because uh, after the former Supreme Court judge was appointed, the Andhra governor, Justice Abdul Nazir was a part of the Ayodhya bench uh, and now the Congress is slamming this particular move. Rahul Gautam now joins us. Rahul Congress going on to say this is a clear quid pro quo, but the BJP going on to say no, there is nothing like that. What's going on? Well, absolutely, you know, the very appointment of uh, Abdul Nazir as the governor of Andhra Pradesh uh, uh, has evoked sharp reactions from both from Congress and BJP, given the fact that Congress party is trying to create a narrative that because of the fact that he gave favorable uh, judgments, uh, uh, you know, in, in matters like Ayodhya and demontization, that therefore he has been uh, you know, give, you know, he has been appointed as the uh, governor. On the other hand, the government has rubbished all these allegations, clearly saying that uh, his appointment has been made as per the merit. So, um, in fact, uh, Congress leader Rachid Alvi also said that uh, it's not the first time where government has appointed, uh, you know, former justices uh, on a, a plum post. Earlier, he cited the example of uh, Ranjan Gogoi. Uh, who was also part of Ayodhya judgment. So clearly the, the Congress party is trying to create a narrative that because of the fact that uh, these judges were part of the, uh, uh, you know, judgment process uh, for those uh, matters that were actually concerned or going to benefit, allegedly benefit the BJP, therefore these people are being, uh, you know, felicitated in the system and therefore this only, uh, you know, going to become another flashpoint between opposition and ruling party in coming days. All right, uh, we'll get you uh, more political reactions uh, uh, as we go along the way. But has there been any other political party who's raised this particular objection like the Congress party, Rahul? Well, the like-minded opposition parties are raising the same issue. In fact, uh, what we're learning from our sources is that uh, tomorrow, uh, you know, at 9.45, the opposition like-minded parties are going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 have a meeting uh, inside the parliament. And uh, over there, this issue is also going to be, uh, you know, top of the agenda. And therefore, you can expect that, uh, that the political parties are certainly going to, uh, you know, exert or, or going to uh, mount pressure upon the government on this very issue. And you can expect uh, some ruckus happening in coming days. So you, it, 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 it's certainly going to becoming a major flashpoint between opposition and treasury benches given the fact that opposition is saying that this is being done only uh, uh, only because of the fact that uh, these judges uh, you know gave uh, favorable judgments in, in the favor of the government and therefore they are Right. Uh, uh, we'll uh, come back to you Rahul for more on this story but thanks so much for joining us with the very latest details.